Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a huge LinkedIn password leak. You might remember four years ago when LinkedIn warned that attackers had caused a data breach and stolen over 6.5 million user records. Well, it turns out that breach was much bigger than they originally suspected. Apparently, an attacker has been selling LinkedIn credentials on the underground. Right now, he's offering 117 million LinkedIn records for around four Bitcoin, which is a meager sum for that many records. People have checked these records apparently and they seem legitimate. And it also turns out that LinkedIn was storing their uh, passwords with a SHA-1 hashing scheme. Now hashing is a cryptographic way to store passwords without actually storing the clear text password. But SHA-1 is an outdated hashing algorithm that suffers some weaknesses. Worse yet, LinkedIn did not salt their passwords. They didn't add a bit of randomness to every SHA-1 hash, which means it's actually pretty easy for bad guys to crack SHA-1 protected passwords that are too short. So a lot of these passwords will come out in bad guys' hands. Now LinkedIn says that there's been no new network compromise or data breach. They say they just misjudged the earlier breach and not all of the people out there reset their passwords and this is just new credentials from that old data breach. But whether it's a new breach or an old breach, bad guys do have their hands on 170 million LinkedIn records. So by now, with all the data breaches I've talked about, hopefully you already know what you should do. You should go change your LinkedIn password right away. More importantly, LinkedIn actually supports two-factor authentication. If you go to their privacy settings, you can set up two-factor authentication, which will make it a lot harder for bad guys to use your credentials. And another tip I give all the time is do not use the same password at every website you visit. That's just bad security. If a bad guy gets one of your passwords, now he can get to everything Thing you use. So try to use things like password managers or anything you can to use different passwords, secure passwords at all the different sites you visit. Anyways, another day, another data breach. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.